Hey, this is Drew from Beyond Seclusion, your Southeast Nebraska Chicken HQ. I want to show you our new line of bulk chicken slash fowl feeders. As you can see behind, we've got a pretty big chicken fowl operation. We've got peacocks, turkeys, ducks, uh, guineas, about everything. With all the fowl that we have, you know, we have anywhere from 50 to 200 fowl at a time. Any of you that have fowl know that once you start getting up to like 15, 20 chickens, especially in the winter, they can go through a lot of food, a lot of food fast. So you got to find some sort of bulk feeder, and this is pretty much what's available. You got, you know, your standard, and this, you know, a lot of different companies. And if you searched online, you'll discover what I did, which is there's not a lot of options. You know, you've got the real small ones, and you got this one, and then this was the biggest that I could find, which is why I bought this several years ago. And if you can't tell, it really isn't getting used much. It's galvanized, okay? It's a great concept, opens up from the back. It does not hold a full bag of feed, so you're only gonna get about half a bag of feed, and then you're gonna have to store it. And it falls down, and that works great. But what we discovered is, is chickens, or smaller fowl will get in there and they'll flick out the food if they don't like it. So if you switch food and they don't like it, as I discovered with my guineas, I came in after filling this with about 20 pounds of cracked corn and there was a huge pile of cracked corn on the ground. So there I am scooping it up out of the dirt. Um, and if that's the other stuff like your chicken layer or crumbles and it's moist out, you just wasted an entire bag of food. So I did a little research and decided I think I can build a better mouse trap. I think I can build a better bulk feeder. So I did some research and I came up with this. Now these are the smaller designs. I'll show you the one that we have that's been tested for two years. We use 32 gallon and it'll hold 200, 250 plus pounds and it's got eight ports. Basically one or two of these will feed our entire flock, which is free range. So they just come in and out during the day and eat out of it. So I wanted to create kind of some smaller ones, more for the average a uh, fowl owner that's got anywhere from five to 20 chickens. These things, um, they're great. The way I designed them is they can't scratch it out. They can't empty these out. And these are time tested, a 30 pound Tom all the way down to a one pound chicken or even a one month old chick eat out of these. No moving parts, it's solid and I'm so confident that you're gonna like these. I'm gonna give you a 100% money back guarantee in the first 30 days. If you don't like it, no questions asked, I'll refund your money. All you gotta do is return it in a reasonable shape so that I can reuse it or resell it. Now, a lot of you are smart and you're looking at this and you're going, Brute, Rubbermaid, PVC, you're right. You could go and you could build this yourself just like I did. I make each one of these individually. Here's the thing though that you need to think about before doing that. If you price out all these, and I'm gonna show you that, I'm gonna to go to Menards and I'm gonna show you all this stuff, it's actually gonna cost you really close to what we charge for one of these. But that's minus the tools that you need to get the job done. You're gonna to have to have at least two hole saws. If you don't know what a hole saw is, it's a little saw that fits on the end of a drill. These, three inch hole saw. Here's the question, how many of you are ever going to use a three inch hole saw again? So once you buy those hole saws and the tools and assuming that you get everything in the right location, because again, I've been testing this for two years, okay, with several prototypes. If I get that all right, it actually costs you quite a bit more and you're gonna have some tools that you're probably never gonna use again. So that is essentially our bulk fowl feeders I think you're gonna love them. Let's price out some of the parts for our bulk chicken feeder. We use a three inch 90 degree elbow, which they frequently don't have a lot of in stock. There you go, 319 each. The brute trash cans. This is the 32 gallon, okay. This is equivalent to the global industrial. And there you go, $32.97. Now we can go Rubbermaid Heavy Duty, which is cheaper. The lids are flimsier, and you can drop that down to $23.99. Again, a little secret, you need a three-inch hole saw. 
There we go, $16.99. But you also need, oh, I'm trying to remember, I think we have about a two, two and a half. Okay, so there's another $13, $14. Or you can buy one of the center points and then you can buy the individual bits. Now I'm gonna give you some free advice. If you do decide, you know what, now I'm gonna make my own. Whatever hand you're holding on to that PVC, I suggest you wear a heavy leather glove. <laughs> as I discovered, this thing likes to grab PVC and it's not as easy and you're gonna have all kinds of fun issues of it sticking in here. Um, I've kind of got a process down, got figured out, but I probably would have had about three stitches in there if I had actually gone in, but I didn't. So now I have a great big scar on my thumb of where it slipped and went into my thumb. So if you're gonna do it on your own, be smart, get some leather gloves. This is Drew from Southeast Nebraska Chicken HQ. We got a Facebook page, we got a YouTube channel, we throw all kinds of stuff on there. If you've got a product you'd love us, like us to test, we would love to do it. If you've got a bulk feeder out there, I would love to see it and I would love to try it and give it a review. My extensive and I think pretty extensive search came up with about Zip, which is why I made these. So anyway, be sure and like, comment. Um, I am considering possibility of shipping these. If you are interested and you're not in Nebraska, I am looking into the possibility, at least the smaller ones, of shipping. And so you can go to our website and get my contact info, and we can certainly see what we can do. I changed feed, and my guineas didn't like because I went from one food to crack corn, and they didn't like the crack corn, so they were trying to find the feed. They emptied this thing out into the dirt in about 20 minutes. Now, you could almost say that they don't care. Guinea cracked corn and you don't care. Oh.